and welcome everyone. Today we are going to see a very nice miniature. This is Kopetsky Encher 1942. E4, E5. Knight F3, Knight F6. This is Petrov, our Russian defense. In this position, one of the main lines is Knight takes E5. And then Black should play D6 because knight takes e4 directly is a mistake white can play queen e2 and if black moves the knight back to f6 then we have knight c6 discover check and white is taking the queen over here so the right move after knight takes e5 instead of taking directly the pawn should be d6 knight goes back and knight takes e4 and this should be more or less a balanced game maybe white is slightly better in some lines but in the game white just decided to play knight c3 and in this position black can play knight c6 and transpose to a four knights here but instead of that black just played bishop b4 and continued playing this that still belongs to the uh, Petrov defense. Bishop c4, which is a normal development move, black castles, and white plays d3, preparing to develop and also protecting the central pawn. And here black plays this move, d5. I could say it's interesting because it's breaking the center and white king is still there. So let's see. E takes d5, knight takes d5, and now white plays a very good move. They just castle, they are going to give one pawn, but they will have uh, the king in safety here, and also they will have some compensation because of development here. So let's see. Knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Now rook b1 is the only move. And in this position, as we said, black has an extra pawn right now. But they have some development problems over here. But also, there is something very important here. They don't have the knight on f6, which is a very good defender in the castle and also this bishop usually is over here e7 and now it's on c3 this means that the king side is a little unprotected here and white has some pieces that can go there very quickly and create good threats this means that white has a good compensation in this position black played here knight c6 actually according to the engines Queen f6 was the best move, trying to bring the queen to the king side and protect things there. But in the game, we had knight c6, and now a very aggressive move for white. Knight g5 is pointing here, f7 is clearing the way for the queen to go to h5 and threaten these squares over here. So, really aggressive this move. Knight g5. And here, black made a mistake. The best move for black here was bishop f5, giving the pawn back, but protecting everything with the bishop, protecting here and here. So maybe white is slightly better, but it's very playable, this position for black. In the game, we had this move h6 which is not good because remember there is a principle that states that the castling pawns should stay in the base unless it's really really necessary so this move h6 is creating more problems for black because now there will be some sax possibilities here on h6 so let's see, knight e4 is now threatening the bishop, the bishop should move to d4, and now queen h5, bringing the queen to the hot sun, 
and creating some new threats. In this position, Black must be very careful. Let's say they play something like b6, then White can play this great idea. Bishop takes pawn, and if pawn takes bishop, then queen g6. Remember, there is a pin here, so this pawn cannot capture the queen. And after king h8, queen takes pawn, and knight f6. Black has to give the queen, and this will be winning for white. So after queen h5, in the game, black played this idea, knight a5, to try to remove this bishop, which is very strong. But it seems like it is too late. Now white plays a very strong move. Bishop g5 is threatening the queen and the pawn cannot really take because after pawn takes bishop then white takes on g5 threatening mate here and black will have to give the queen here on g5 because after something like bishop f5 white can play bishop takes pawn Queen takes rook and queen takes bishop. And this is very, very good for white. It's winning for them. So, black will have to give the queen. And this is winning as well. So, after bishop g5, black cannot take the bishop. So, in the game, Angel just moved the queen and played queen e8. But now, white has a very nice combination here. Pause the video if you want to try to find it. The move Kopetsky played here was knight f6. And here, black resigned it. They are taking the queen, black king is in check, and after pawn takes knight, then we have Queen g6 check, only move king h8, and then mate in one. Bishop takes f6. So this is the game I wanted to show you today. If you want that I make more videos like this one about short games, fantastic miniatures, give me likes so I can know it, and I will gladly do more videos like this. So that's it. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you soon in another video.